welcome to this day. It is Tuesday, November 19th. These days just fly by, I can't keep track. I'm your host, Bree Cox Kennedy, and we have a great show for you today because we're gonna be talking with Miss Siobhan Foster, and she's going to be giving us a CEO update along with telling us how we can participate in a satisfaction survey. So really important information that you're going to want to stay tuned for. But in the meantime, we wanna keep you informed and who is ready to go shopping? We have a destination shopping bus taking you to the shops at Mission Viejo on Tuesday, November 26th. So call the transportation at 949-597-4659 to make your reservation. The bus will depart at 10 a.m. and then will return at 1.30 p.m. Fee is $10 per rider. So get a head start on your holiday shopping with that excursion. Next up, let's take a look at our five-day forecast. Looks like the clouds are going to start rolling in today after 11 for a partly cloudy afternoon. I have 68 today. Tomorrow, jumping back up, 75. Nice and sunny, gorgeous day. Lows are in the uh, high 40s, low 50s through Saturday. Again, another beautiful week here in sunny Southern California. Next up is our sunrise sunset segment. Oh my gosh, I just had to smile when this photo came through. These ladies look so happy and their paintings of the octopus, adorable, absolutely adorable. I love how the tentacles of the octopus move over into the frames. Just adorable. Anyway, sunrise this morning was at 626. Sunset will be at 445. Hey folks, how about all of you send us more photos like that? <laughs> Email them to us at lagunawoodsvillagetv at gmail.com. Please send us your name, where the photo was taken from, and in a horizontal format, please. Next up, we have a meeting to tell you about, and then after the break our CEO update, so stay tuned. Celebrating 65, exciting until you wonder, should I apply for Medicare? If so, how? But I'm still working. What is Medicare Part A, Part B, C, D? Are there penalties involved? We make it easier for you. We discuss the pros, cons, and myths. Call one 888 225-6468. We help you understand, enroll, and use your benefits so you can go back to doing the things you love. Just 40 bucks you set for the year. 12 shows a year bring the good times here. Chicago. Clubs got your back, don't wait too long. Discounted trips, we're rolling strong. Buy now, don't miss the deal. And the 25, it's all too real. Join the club where the fun won't stop. Chicago clubs and ways to rock. 40 year, what you waiting for? Let's hit the stage, it's so much more. Available now, don't let it pass. At Adapt to it, we strive to make the everyday tasks easier by providing our customers with the tools they need to be successful. We carefully explain the use and care of all of our equipment. Adapt to it has been in Laguna Woods for over 20 years, and we know that nothing in life stays constant. So we can help you adapt to all the changes in your life. Adapt to it sells and rents items and always delivers with a smile. Come in today to experience what we mean when we say, when you can't change it, adapt to it. As the dawn breaks, life is made of unique moments where every moment is a cherished opportunity. With the Lyman Health Plan, we champion a life rich in meaningful moments wherever you are. La vida se hace de momentos únicos. The goal of the 2024 to 2027 of VMS is to provide 
excellent service to the community. Joining me today is CEO of VMS, Siobhan Foster. Good morning. Welcome to the show. She's going to tell us about the Village Management Services Customer Survey Satisfaction. Customer yes. Satisfaction Survey. Exactly. Siobhan, welcome back to the show. It's nice to have you. Thank you. Happy we have to be a here. lot to talk about, and I know that our viewers are going to want to get involved with this. So just to kind of kick us off, let's remind residents how they interact with VMS on a daily basis. Great. So as you know, VMS is a not-for-profit professional community management company, equally owned by GRF, Third mm -hmm. Mutual, and United Mutual. Right. GRF and the Housing Mutuals provide services and maintenance to the village residents by contracting with VMS to perform the work. Residents interact daily with VMS in such ways as entering the gates, playing sports, visiting a clubhouse, watching TV6, requesting a maintenance or landscaping service, seeing a show at the Performing Arts Center. Lots going on in the community. What are the other goals between 24 and 27? We have goals for financial stability, increasing revenues, but we're very much focused on customer service and the customer service experience. Right. So how are residents able to participate in this survey? Sure. So this is our yardstick, if you will, to see how we are doing in terms of providing exceptional service. This is our first foray into the customer satisfaction arena. Mm -hmm. um, so input from our residents will identify areas where VMS is doing well and other areas that may need improvement. Residents are asked to complete and submit the survey by November 30th. And you may find the survey online in a number of places, and this is the preferred method of completion. It's included in all November editions of What's Up in the Village, so the few that have been issued already and the ones still to come in November. You can visit the news homepage at lagunawoodsvillage.com to find the survey link, mm -hmm. or you can read pages 52 and 53 of the November-December Village Breeze. And for those who don't have access to a computer or would like to manually submit their survey. Yes, there are lots of options. They're available in the community center lobby, the social services office, clubhouse literature racks, the clubhouse one drop-in lounge, on village buses, in the village library, and the towers li lo lobby, excuse me. Yes. And um, the survey will ask for the resident ID. That's correct. correct. Yes. This Anything else they need to know about? Yes. Uh, well, the, the ID ensures that feedback is from village residents only. And there's only one survey per resident that can be submitted. Any additional submissions would be discarded. The survey response is confidential. No follow-up will be conducted. Mm -hmm. But the survey results will be published at lagunawoodsvillage.com and other communication platforms so everyone will see the results. Wonderful. Siobhan, how often do you take, do you do these surveys? The intent is to do this first one as a baseline and then do them annually thereafter. Annually? Yes. Okay, great. So um, talk to us about benchmarking and why that's so important. Yes, again, uh, VMS is committed to continuous service improvement, providing the best services possible at the lowest possible costs. So we just endeavored into a benchmarking uh, project where we compared our services with those in the same industry or in the broader marketplace. This helps us improve our services, look at different technologies to reduce costs and so forth. And the report findings aim to, again, guide us in improving performance in our practices and to provide members with a greater understanding of VMS services and how our costs compare to those outside agencies. Right. And um, those benchmarks can be viewed or downloaded at the, um, at the sub let's see, let's see, um, VMS benchmark to review and or download, right? Yes, the complete report is available. OK, wonderful. That'll be exciting to, to view. It's interesting, yes. Mm -hmm. Let's see how you compare. Okay, wow, I guess that covers that whole portion of it then. So we really want to encourage our viewers to get out there and, and take that survey. Yes, please, and that'll help you know, guide us into next year. The more surveys you get, the yes. more clarity you'll, you'll gain, correct? Absolutely. Yes, 
Okay. Well, let's talk about something really exciting, and that is Employee Excellence Awards. Yes, yeah, so these are um, offered twice a year to employees who demonstrate excellent customer service, achieve great results on projects, and regularly go in above and beyond their regular job duties. So we just completed the fall uh, celebration of our Employee Excellence Award winners. Mm -hmm. And I just want to review them very quickly with our audience in case they should see one of these employees. And Absolutely. They give them a, we need our, to give them recognition. Exactly. So very quickly, in our financial services department, Mae Kennedy, senior accountant, won an award for her involvement in the ERP implementation. This is the new accounting system. And she was critical to this project that just went live a Wonderful. month or so ago. Congratulations to Mike. In our general services department, we recognized Rodrigo Ayala. He's a concrete finisher who is simply a go-to person for the department. And Rosemary Boldrick, an administrative specialist who performs exceptionally in her role every day. In information services, we recognized three employees in our resident services operation. That's the call center downstairs in the walk-in customer service center, okay. Ruben Felix, Jocelyn Flores and Delphine Mathby, all for their excellence in uh, dealing with customer challenges and just getting the, the job done for our residents. Mm -hmm. And then Grant Schultz from our information systems area for his coordination of the ERP project that I mentioned previously. Just did an outstanding job. Sounds like a wonderful team that you've got assembled there. Yes, in our landscaping services department, Hector Botello, crew foreman, was recognized for his excellent customer service, and Noel Lopez, tree trimmer technician, for his ability to multitask and get things accomplished. And there's a lot of trees around here. There are. <laughs> In our maintenance and construction department, we recognized Azita Badri, project manager, and Guy West, project managers, for delivering the Clubhouse One project on time and on budget. And gorgeous, by the way. Thank you. And then Alfonso Castro, plum plumbing foreman, for his excellent customer service. And Jonathan Jarigi, maintenance operations supervisor, for his problem solving skills. We also looked at our manor alterations division and recognized Melissa Serrato, senior operations specialist, and Dominique Vargas, operations specialist. These two employees have vastly enhanced customer service in this division. And deserve to be recognized. Of course they do. My goodness. OK. Lastly? In our recreation department, there is a team of employees that is being recognized. You can see their names on the screen before you. Every employee noted has gone above and beyond to make the customer experience during the Clubhouse One beautification project the best possible, given an extremely difficult situation. It's right. hard to be displaced, but these employees went above and beyond to try to accommodate everyone's needs. Well, we're definitely grateful to them for their positions and their outstanding service. And then in our security s services department, Dan Lurie's uh, supervisor too is recognized for retooling the training program that our GAIN ambassadors use on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. And in the CEO's office, we recognized Patty Kurzet in our community services division for building relationship with the realtor community out there. She hosts um, regular forums with the real estate agents and brokers and uh, escrow officers. And then she has a monthly information bulletin that goes out to that audience. And so she's vastly improved communication in that area. Yeah, I would imagine that's a very much a full-time position there yes. with all the residents here. So again, I encourage everyone to please join me in congratulating these, these and our other outstanding employees who serve this community every day. Well, we certainly appreciate we appreciate them, and then we also appreciate you for bringing our attention and awareness to what a fantastic job this entire community and staff has is bringing. Thank it's you. Just, it's just beautiful and fabulous. And we also want to remind our folks, go ahead and take that survey. Yes, right? please. Do you have um, quickly there the... Um, the website where they can go to to Just take that survey? Go to lagunawoodsvillage.com and select the news tab. The news tab. Yes. Okay, wonderful. Thank you. All right. Siobhan Foster, thank you so much for joining us and for those updates and awards in excellence. We will be right back with some announcements and the weather after these messages.
stay tuned. Tickets are on sale now for Feeling Good, a tribute to Michael Buble and a very Buble Christmas, performed by Anthony Bernasconi with four backup singers and a 14-piece band, live on December 7th at the Performing Arts Center at 7.30 p.m., presented by the California Club. Tickets can be purchased at the PAC box office or at www.californiaclublwv.com. Questions? Call the PAC at 949-597-4289. We believe every senior should be able to remain healthy, happy, and at home. At Caring Senior Service, we understand the value of compassion and companionship. Our caregivers promote health, happiness, and independence. We cook nutritional meals, engage in meaningful activities, run errands, do light house cleaning, and more. Call us toll-free at 833-926-3700 or visit our website, CaringSeniorServiceLW.com. Healthy, happy, home. Caring Senior Service. What would it feel like to hear better? Many people are trapped in the isolation of poor hearing and don't realize it. Even people that are wearing other hearing aids. They only know the way they hear, not how much better they could be hearing. We've taken patients that were hearing 24% of conversations and improved them to 92%. A life-changing difference. Put on these hearing aids and hear better, automatically. No buttons to push or technology to fear. Artificial intelligence and these products do all the work. Don't settle for less. And remember, tell them Stuart sent you. Welcome to This Day. I'm your host, Bree Cox Kennedy, and we have a special treat for you today. We are coming to you from Laguna Woods Village Farmers Market, and I'm here with Kelly McGinnis. Hello, Kelly. Hi, how's it going, Bree? Good, good. Thank you so much for having us. We're excited to take a tour. Yeah. Tell me about the market. How many years or months yes. have you been here? Uh, well, we've only been here for about five months and we did come on this day and talk about being here on Sundays, but now we've changed our market hours. We are here every Thursday from three to seven, rain or shine. So no more Sundays? No more Sundays, okay. but we are in the same location and that's 24411 Ridge Route. We're right across from the DMV and right behind 7-Eleven and Chopin Bakery. Okay, it's a very easy to find location. I even did it. I took a wrong turn because my navigation didn't. <laughs> You're not alone. <laughs> That's okay. But anyway, it's, it's a very easy location to find. And boy, am I glad that I did because I can't even believe this produce that is behind us here. Yeah, it's right. really beautiful. Um, one thing we like to tell people is we do have Pedro's Organic, which is lovely. They do a lot of avocados and a lot of citrus. But all of our other farmers, even if they're not certified organic, which is a very costly certification, they are very non-conventional. They don't use sprays, pesticides, Wonderful. things like that. So, And another thing that's super important for people to know, and the main reason we're here is because all the farmers are very hyper-local. They're not, this is not anything that you will find that's from farther than a couple of hours away from here. They drive here from the farm, so it's really hyper-local, which means for the end user, it's so fresh and so good. Well, not only that, but you know, we're, we're getting additional nutrition in our bodies from this beautiful, fresh, organic produce, right. but it also helps the farmers. It really helps the very local, very small farmers. They're not monoliths. These are small farms that you can go and visit, and they really need the support, yeah. That's wonderful. All right, folks, come on out and support these farmers and get yourself some beautiful, nutritious, organic fruits and vegetables while you're here. All right, folks, we are here at JM Produce from San Luis Obispo. Take a look at these beautiful berries, figs. They are completely chemical free, pesticide free, and they look absolutely delightful. They're three for 12, so come on down and get some beautiful antioxidants. 
One of my most favorite breakfast foods is yogurt. And I'm gonna try some of these because they're kefir yogurt. They have um, no sugar, lots of probiotics. That's right. <laughs> and they're made with sheep milk, cow's milk. We got it covered here and lots and lots of flavors. So come on down and make sure not only do you get your fresh pesticide free berries, but you can also add those berries to this beautiful yogurt and have a wonderful, delightful breakfast. So folks, while you are here, you need to join the free raffle and win a reusable bag filled with, filled with market goodies, goodies, from goodies all over the market, yes. and receive a free newsletter. I love that. One more thing I'm gonna call your attention to because it is so darn cute. Have you ever seen a logo as cute as this? I mean, come on folks, that is absolutely adorable. From the colors to the tomatoes for the lenses, farm habit, how cute. So pick up one of these wonderful t-shirts which also tells you where all the markets are going to be held. All right, folks, this is really special. Have you ever seen green eggs? I'm not talking about the green eggs and ham in the Dr. Seuss books. I'm talking about actual green eggs. They are tiny, much smaller than the white and the brown, and they're gorgeous. Apparently, these are from a black chicken. <laughs> Who knew? I had no idea, but I'm gonna try one. All right, folks, these are handmade Bolivian meat pies, right? All the way from Anaheim. And, and tell, 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 our, tell our viewers what that is. Uh, we call them salteñas, but people can't say that, so I call them Bolivian meat pies. It's better hit, I guess. <laughs> well, I could understand Bolivian meat pies, so. But they look wonderful. You've got spicy beef, spicy chicken, and then regular beef. Regular chicken, and you have vegetarian, right? Correct. Wonderful. Folks, if you need any ideas for dinner tonight, or any other night, come on down and have a chat with, what's your name? Grover. Have a chat with Grover. He's going to set you up with some Bolivian meat pies. They look and smell, take our word for it, really good. All right, folks, that's going to do it for us this week at Laguna Woods Village Farmer's Market. Come on down. The produce looks absolutely amazing. The meat pies, oh my gosh, I can't wait to try this one as soon as I get home. And I think that you need to come down and stock up your refrigerator for the next week. Coming to you from Laguna Woods Village Farmer's Market. Thanks for your support. The farmers really appreciate it. Having a healthy smile not only improves your self-esteem, but also helps prevent major medical issues. At Flora Stanger General and Specialty Dental Practice, we help you achieve and maintain healthy teeth to improve your smile, no matter what stage your teeth are in. We cover your dental needs from dental implants, full mouth restoration, and a variety of cosmetic dentistry options all in one location. We're located right down the road from Laguna Woods, where your bus service stops right in front of our building. Call us today for a free exam and consultation. You have a club for every scenario. A driver for the long holes. Wedges to get you over the hazards. And a putter for when you need a touch of finesse. What about your retirement? Will you have enough to play the back nine? Call to set your 15 minute phone visit today and let's find out. Get a second set of eyes on your retirement plan. At Motion Drip, we believe in proactive wellness. Our IV therapy is designed to give you the well-being you deserve. With increased vitamin absorption directly into your bloodstream, it will replenish your body with hydration and nutrients to support your body's functions, increase energy levels, slow signs of aging, improve muscle recovery, and boost stamina. 
We are located right outside of Gate 8 on Moulton Parkway. Give us a call or visit our website to schedule your appointment today, as we will be your proactive partner in wellness. If you're driven by an adventurous heart, you're in luck. The 2024 Subaru Outback shares your spirit with standard symmetrical all-wheel drive and up to 32 miles per gallon. Plus, 97% of Outback vehicles sold in the last 10 years are still on the road today. The 2024 Subaru Outback. Go where love takes you. Irvine Subaru. Buy online, just come in to sign. Get two years complimentary maintenance included on all new Subarus. <laughs> It's that time of year where holiday themes are in the air and we couldn't be more excited. We've got a couple of announcements to share with you about holiday concerts and sing-alongs. So to start us off, Broadway Music Lovers Club is having their Ugly Sweater Contest along with their holiday sing-along on Tuesday, December 3rd in the Dining Room Number 1 at the Pack Theatre. The time is 3 p.m. sharp, so don't be late, my friends. And it's $10 for a drop-in visitor or $25 for the year. If you'd like to get your tickets, email broadwaymusicloverslv at gmail.com. Excuse me. Broadway Music Lovers. <laughs> lwv at gmail.com. Very important to have that address correct. So get your tickets and go win that ugly sweater contest with the holiday sing-along. And then next, we are feeling good with Michael Buble, A Very Buble Christmas, performed by Anthony Bermasconi. That is featuring four singers and a 14-piece orchestra. That's taking place Saturday, December 7th at 7.30 in the Performing Arts Center Clubhouse 3 again. Tickets range between $30 and $40. You can get your tickets through CaliforniaClubLWV.com. Next up, let's take a quick look at our weather once again. Today is going to be a pleasant high of 68, climbing up to 75 tomorrow, and then tapering back down in temperatures toward the weekend for a high of 65 on Saturday. Lows remain in high 40s, low 50s. Tomorrow on this day, we are going to be talking with Caring Senior Service and Pacific Financial Planners. So we hope that you will come back and join us again tomorrow. And from all of us here at this day, we hope you make yours a beautiful one.